are back for my first moto in the 250 beginner class. So my first moto for the college class was the first race of the day. This is the third. So I literally got off the track for my first moto and started lining up for this moto. So no break in between. Let's get into it. And I look like a goon. I almost... Uh, throw myself off the back of the bike from doing that power wheelie right there. There are five or six in the 250 beginning of class, and I'm ahead of a couple of people right now, so after that bad start, go on the inside, make a pass, almost make two with this guy in the KTM. I believe he is in my class. This race, there was the open bike, big bike, the 250 beginner, and the women's class. So also, for the sake of time and me trying to figure out what all I should talk about, instead of doing the entire moto um, commentating over it, I'm only going to commentate over the first lap and the last lap. Let me know what you think about this. The reason I'm doing this is because nothing really happens after the first lap. The last lap, it, you can just see how the track um, deforms over time and gets rutted down and stuff like that. But I mean, we're three or four turns in, and basically things are thinned out for me at least. And I'm trying to keep up with this front group here, but I'm not really. I, I already know I'm not going to make any passes on them. I already passed the people I'm going to pass and now I'm just thinned out in riding which probably isn't the most interesting thing to um, watch. For the new Hartford race it was easier to commentate over the entire thing because the track was shorter but I'm putting in about three minute lap times so about 12 minutes of racing which is about the length of a video for an entire hair scramble, so... I don't know. I'm gonna try this out. Um, if something interesting happens in one of, the, one of the second motos, then I will make sure to edit that in, but for right now, I mean, things... nothing's too interesting. Alright, so now this is the last lap. Um, things really thinned out for me. The, I'm ahead of some people and I'm behind some people, so somewhere in the middle. Um, just trying to ride, figure out the track, and then the second moto I thought to myself I could go a little bit faster. There was that guy on the left there, you saw a glimpse of him on a YZ125. Uh, he would catch up to me a little bit, then I'd pull away a little bit. It wasn't necessarily a battle because um, I'm too far ahead of him for it to be an actual like, head-on, really close battle. But if he, if he would have stayed a little bit closer to me in the beginning of the race, then this would have been a lot more interesting and fun to watch moto but this 250 beginner class is a range of skill levels it seemed like the leaders were pretty much guys that could keep up with the 250c riders then there's the mid pack guys like me who well I have ridden a little bit of motocross and have experience on a dirt bike but I mean I'm not necessarily all that fast and then the guys in the back of the pack were guys that may have never really ridden a dirt bike before so a huge variety of riders in this class but after back-to-back -back races I am oh my god I thought I was worn out in hair scrambles after finishing 
an hour and a half or two hours of racing, but my god, I don't understand how I can get so worn out in so little time. But I did, and it was bad the first moto. Second moto, it wasn't horrible, but the first moto, the arm pump was just god awful. Which again, if I uh, figure that out, plus also get a little bit more speed on the MX track, maybe I'll pull away with a win one of these days in the beginner class. I'm not even close to being able to finish mid-pack in the 250C class. But regardless, coming into the finish here, I finished third in my class for the first moto. So guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will be back for moto 2.